I'd say that we've had a lot of success over the past five years, but I think the biggest successes have number one been our team. We really, right from the beginning, focused on finding the best people and making sure, keeping them, making sure they wanted to stay with us and investing in their growth, investing in their professional development and really making the Redstone environment one that people want to come into every Monday morning. Uh, another huge success we've had was our growth and our adaptability. Um, we've been growing consistently over the past five years and every time there's been a challenge or a pandemic, we've adapted and we've figured out a way around it and continued to have our business, which has been thriving. So what is it about our partnership that makes us work so well? I think it's that we couldn't be more opposite, um, but they say opposites attract, and I think that our skill sets are very much complementary. Um, other than sushi, we both love sushi. I don't know that um, we like anything else. The same. So where did the name Redstone come from? Well, after a lot of bad options, Bailey actually landed on Redstone. Red is Bailey's last name and Stone is um, the Silver Steen or previously x uh, in my last name. So it's a mixture of both of us in that we were the founders, but the company is not really about us. So red is a passionate, fiery color and stone is a sturdy foundation for your event, for your association. So we thought that it was a good blend of what our business stands for and who we are as the founders. So the advice I give to new entrepreneurs is that it's a lot of work. It's a lot more work than you think it's going to be when you first start out. But I'd also add that it's incredibly rewarding and again, a lot more rewarding than you think it's gonna be when you first start out. I would also add that even though you're the new entrepreneur, it's not a decision that you should make in isolation. It's definitely that saying where it takes a village. It really takes a village. It was a commitment that at the time my fiance was willing to go into, now my husband. Um, I know Bailey and her husband, it was a conversation, even our extended family in terms of our parents and our siblings, it was time we weren't going to be able to spend with them or things we couldn't do or would have to do. And, you know, so you are the new entrepreneur taking the risk and um, putting in that work, but it really extends far beyond just yourself. So in five years from now, um, where do I see Redstone? Um, would have been a funny question to ask me in March, 2020, but now I can confidently say the growth projections and I guess everything that we had planned for Redstone over the next three to five years, I can totally see coming to fruition. I wouldn't change it based on a pandemic. I wouldn't change it um, based on anything. So I see us being a big successful company with lots of awesome people, staff, clients, in a great location in the city, maybe with a second office somewhere else, I don't know where, um, but the sky's the limit. I agree, I think that we've shown tremendous um, adaptability and ability to innovate and pivot. I know it's a hated word, but oh on me. But we <laughs> might have that second office location, but it might be a little bit smaller than all of the space you can see behind us. Who knows?